In the last lesson we added some finishing touches to our animation and now let's assume that we showed this preview to our client and then the client says well everything you made is nice but I want the logo and everything to be bigger. So what could we do now? We could come in here now and select all the elements and scale everything up. For example, let's say we want the color stain to be bigger, so we come to our scaling here and let's say we need to scale this up. But then you see, whoops, we created an animation and now I created a new keyframe here. Now everything is out of control and it's not working. So what I would have to do is I would have to change the animation, come in here to each layer, change the scaling to make everything bigger and to get the look that my client wants. But this is a little bit of a complicated workflow. And what I want to introduce to you now is called pre-composing or nesting. So if our client says he wants everything to be bigger, instead of coming in here and changing each layer, each animation, each keyframe, what we can do is we simply can pre-compose all these elements. Pre-composing means that you just move certain layers from one composition to another composition. And that's called a pre-composition. So how can we do this? So our client wants everything to be bigger. He wants our watercolor stains, the splatter, the brush, the circle and the titles and the logo to be bigger. So let's select all these elements. I select the first layer here which is our text layer, I will not select my two adjustment layers and I will not select my background layer. Now I hold down shift and I select my last layer here, the watercolor stain layer. Now I have all the elements selected that our client wants to be scaled up. Now with all these layers selected, I can right click here and I can choose pre-compose. And if I click this here, pre-compose, you will see After Effects will open up this dialog box. And now I can specify a name for the new composition. So let's rename this and let's say this is our logo animation or title animation, doesn't really matter. And make sure that we choose move all attributes into the new composition. So let's click OK. And now you see what After Effects did. Now we do not have our layers in here anymore. We only have one composition. And After Effects also added this composition right here to our project window. So if we enter this composition now, let's double click in here to open up this composition. You see that now our animation is inside our new composition and everything is still working exactly as before. The cool thing now is that if I want to make everything bigger now, I just can come in here, select my composition, my pre-comp that I created, press S to open our scale properties and scale up my composition here. Let's say maybe 10% like to 110% and you see now everything is still animating but everything is now 10% bigger. And you see that now we can fulfill the expectations of our customer very easily without destroying the structure of our animation too much. We could of course also come in here now and make this smaller. So maybe he says, no, it's too big, I want it to be smaller. Then you can come in here, scale it down to let's say 80% and then the animation will still work. So this is one example when pre-composing can be very useful. Another example is if you want to add an effect to certain layers. For example, let's enter our logo animation again. And let's say you want to add a special effect maybe to our brush and to our paint splatter here. So how can you do this? You could now come in here and add the effect to each of these layers and change the properties and then copy it over. This would work without a problem if you have only two layers. But if you have a bunch of layers, this could be a little bit complicated. So the best option would be to just create a pre-composition to put all these layers that you want to use the effect on into a new pre-composition. So by just clicking on the first one, hold down shift, select the second one, right click, then again choose pre-compose. And let's say these are our brush and our splatters. 
move all the attributes to the new composition, click OK. You see that nothing changes here. The animation still works exactly the same. But what I have done here now, I have created a new composition. And if I enter this now by double clicking with our two elements included here, and now I could come in here and apply whatever effect I want to my two elements. So maybe I want to add a drop shadow effect to these. I could come in here now and choose drop shadow. You see that we also have the drop shadow as an effect and not only as a layer style. I drag it on my layer and now you see if I increase the distance and if I increase the softness you see that I can apply very easily apply an effect to both of these elements together. I actually do not want this because I don't think that this looks very good. So let's undo this. We can undo Control C the changes, Control C again, Control C again. Now the drop shadow is gone. Now let's hit Control C one more time. And now you see that you also can undo pre-composing. Now our two layers are in our logo animation again without being in a composition. So you can undo pre-composing as well. The concept of pre-composing, it's also called nesting, can be a little bit confusing in the beginning. I know it because for me it was really a little bit difficult what moment I have to pre-compose or what advantages it really gives you. But during this course, during the next projects that we will do together, I hope that you will get the hang of pre-composing and that in the end of this course this will be really obvious and really logic to you. Okay, so this is it with our first project. We finished our first project. The client is satisfied now. And what we can do as a last step for this project now is we can export it to a video file and we will take a look at this in the next lesson.